someone in the online community was looking for a way to mimic what Point Clone Plus and Modeler does, but but one wanted to do it in layout. So I thought we could take a look at one way of going about doing it. Let's go ahead and start over in Modeler so we can see what Point Clone Plus is doing, and then we'll mimic that. Uh, for starters, let's go ahead and just create a flat plane, and we'll give it some segments with the up arrow key and the right arrow key, something like this. Okay, and then I'm going to center it with F2. And then let's go ahead and make uh, some, some just simple little mountain ranges. So to do that, I'm going to go over to Modify. Let's use Magnet, and I'll right click to start setting up my fall off area. And then left click and drag, and I'm just going to raise a few areas. So I'm right clicking again to adjust, and then left clicking to raise. So that'll do for what, for what we need. We've got a, a basic little range. I'm going to go ahead and, and lasso select and see that there are 600, 600 points on this object. That'll be good to know when we get over to layout. Okay, in layer two, I'm going to just create a simple little cone. We'll, we'll treat this as a little tree. Okay, something like this. Okay, and actually I'm going to size it down some with the stretch tool move this right here okay so and let's go ahead and center it and let's hit F3 and we're gonna rest it on ground so that it'll be right at the origin okay so let's go ahead and place for every point in the background let's place one of these objects so we'll go over to multiply duplicate more point clone plus now there's all kind of options here to randomize the scale and rotation and and uh, and placement but I'm gonna go ahead and just use the default which will keep everything the same so as you can see it's placed the object it's created an object for every point that was in the background layer but I'm gonna go ahead and undo that okay and let's go ahead and send this over to layout and do the equivalent but we'll we'll see how we go about doing it in layout so I'm gonna go ahead and save this let's just do um, hill tree 001 that, that's gonna be my my simple name for that okay and we'll send that over to layout okay so we've got our two objects I'm gonna go ahead and switch to wireframe just so we can see both okay zoom in here Okay, so what I want is for every point on this object to create a clone to, to make a duplicate copy of this little cone, which we'll refer to as a tree. Okay, so just like we did in Modeler, but in Layout. So I'm going to grab the um, ground object, the object that's in Layer 1, P for Properties, come over to the Dynamics tab, and under Add Dynamic, we're going to make that an emitter. Okay, I'm going to double click. And for the nozzle, let's change that to object vertices, so the points that make up this object. For generate by, let's change it from second to frame. And remember, we selected the object over in, in layout to see how many points, and it was 600 points. Let's go ahead and do 600 for the birth rate. And for the limit, let's do 600. Okay. So what we're saying is that on frame one, it's going to create 600 points, so sorry, 600 particles. Each particle is going to be placed where a point is on the object, and then it's going to limit at 600, so it won't create more. We'll go ahead and calculate, even though it, it probably already did it, but just as a backup, we'll calculate. Okay, and so now what we'll do is we'll select layer two, which is the tree, and we'll come over to the utilities tab, and under additional we'll choose effects linker okay so the particle emitter is is layer one we're gonna replace the particles with layer two we're gonna make let's do 600 for the the copy and again we've got random rotation and scale uh, but let's go ahead and just leave this um, the same and we'll hit OK and what we have now let's go to texture shaded solid so what we have now is for every point uh, that makes up that object we have a copy of the object so it made 600 copies 600 clones of that object and there you go a quick way of uh, mimicking point clone plus in layout using effects linker